So this morning, I woke up to a 3D print that was only half done and then knocked off the printing bed and a lot of printing material just spilled everywhere. And it must be because the bottom print was just not thick enough, wasn't adhering to the print bed well. And I guess that's it. I'm redoing the, uh, the slicing so that I can fix those problems that I think exist. And then I'm gonna set it to print again. We're having breakfast at home. Mom made grits, fried eggs, and ham. I already ate the fried eggs and ham, just have grits left. And Nina's having ham and apple jacks. Maybe grits. But we're staying home because I have to edit the video vlog, or the, the video for the vlog. And also have to get that 3D print to print again, and hopefully print well. Nina's been on the rampage, and I think maybe we shouldn't give her Apple Jacks anymore. This is Nina. She's still crazy, but she's calming down. Probably because she's naked. This is what I got from last night's print. You can see the back portion right here is tilted up, which is probably what caused this side to be higher, because it's not touching the ground. You see how that moves, shouldn't move like that. And so what must have happened, the nozzle must have gotten stuck on this higher part, ripped it off, and this wasn't adhered to the print bed very well, so it just came right off. Other than that, the print looks very nice and smooth. It's just too bad that it failed. I just tried extruding a bit of filament, and it couldn't do it. It got stuck. There was a lot of backtrack in this area because it couldn't push the filament down which means that it must be very dirty inside very stuck in there so I'm putting the temperature up to about 220 degrees 219 degrees actually to see if I can melt some of that out and then I'll just push it through manually These boots were the only way of calming her down. Now she can't run. But she's enjoying them. Even at 230 degrees, I couldn't get the filament to pass through easily. At least not the way it used to. So I did some research and it seems that these things need to be cleaned uh, by being dipped in acetone or or some other type of lacquer thinner uh, for a few hours practically half a day so there's not going to be any printing until tomorrow so because this is a hot end printer I have to bring it up to temperature so that's 230 degrees Celsius by the way uh, just to be able to get off the nozzle which is extremely hot right now so I don't really want to touch it but um, I was able to push some filament through and it came right through, which means that the main problem is here on this nozzle. So I'm gonna dip that nozzle in some paint thinner for I guess about six hours while we go out and do some things. When I come back, I hope that it's clean. It's 11 something in the morning and I haven't started painting because the 3D print failed last night. And I haven't been able to play with Nina in the snow because Robert has to fix that and can't watch Cal. So Nina's not happy. Mommy's tired. I haven't even cleaned up this coffee spill that Nina did this morning. And yeah, she's been on the rampage. Nina, sing. Hip hip hooray, the super reader saved the day. I've got some mineral oil right here. That is used as lacquer or varnish thinner and paint thinner. So I'm hoping this works. If not, I'll just have to fill this up with some acetone.
You're eating? What are you eating? Eating. What? What's that? Snow. Snow. Back and back. We're out right now. We stopped by Dunkin' Donuts to get a hot chocolate for mom for the walk. But we're on our way to the library to return some books for Nina and re-borrow one for mom. And she's way over her borrowing limit, but they reset me last time I was there. So I don't, know, I don't think there's going to be a problem this time. We're back home from dropping off the books at the library and getting some new ones. Apparently I'm still cold because I'm still wearing a hat. And uh, this has been sitting in solution, I would say about three and a half hours. Uh, and as I looked at it, it had some progress, but it's still pretty dirty. But while I was out, I also bought pure acetone because I wasn't using pure acetone before. I was using this nail polish remover, which is acetone, but also has water and glycerin in it. So it dilutes it a bit. So now I put it back inside with just pure acetone and I'm going to let it sit for about half an hour more and hopefully that'll be enough to clean it up and I can get started on the print. I just received uh, an email from my sister with an uh, invitation to her son's birthday party for me to um, give my opinion and all I could say was that it made me sad because of the colors and placement so I'll probably end up remaking that for her uh, later tonight. I think Nina used to be a mountain goat. She's always climbing. What you doing, Daddy? I'm making an invitation for my nephews and my godsons. No, just my nephews. It's a passport to a lifeless ordinary. I'm sure it shows up in the video, but that little hole is clean. That means this is ready to use. The train bridge went down some more. It's almost all the way down. Is that your star? After reinstalling the print nozzle and recalibrating the auto leveling bed, I started a print and it's looking very nice, very clean. Everything seems to be sticking to the print platform, which is good. And uh, the computer says 12 hours, but then again, I am at 65% speed and I plan on bringing it up to a hundred once a good solid base is created. It's eight o'clock now so I have to go upstairs and get ready to put Nina to bed. But I'll come back down in about two hours to uh, see how it's doing and hopefully it's all good news tonight. Nina's grumpy. Nina, can I see Grumpy? Red. <laughs> grumpy. What color is it? Purple. Purple. Nina, be surprised. <laughs> be happy. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Good girl. We're getting ready for bed. We have three new library books, and then we have her standards over here, just in case she doesn't feel satisfied with the three new books. We have the four old books that she always reads. Nina went to sleep, not easily, but very, very noisily. 
Um, she's asleep now, and she fell asleep very exhausted. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a restful night. I'm going to go check on the print. The print is looking really good. I don't think I've ever had a print look this clean, even when it was a brand new printer. Good night, Nina. Good night, Nina. Good night, Cal. Good night, Cal. We love you. We love you.